Hey there, welcome back to the Nail Chronicle. This week I've decided to go with a more tutorial st style video. Uh, this is just sort of a basic how to do some nail stamping. Uh, it's part of my um, pretty in pink or pink sort of nail art tutorial that I've got on my blog. So I'll put down a um, link to the uh, blog post in the description box. So have a look for the full details of all the polishes I've used and the plates and everything like that. Um, and so yeah, I've been used, so for this one I've used a Manology stamping plate. Um, it is actually branded as Bundle Monster from their old brand. Uh, and also a Conad uh, black stamping polish and stamper. Um, for basic stamping and when I'm not doing reverse stamping, the Conan one's probably one of my favourites. Although I do like the clear one just to see how it's going to turn out and how it's going to look. It's also actually easier to place it on the nail with a clear one because you can get the lineup exact. With this design I wasn't too worried about the lineup. I just sort of wanted to get the design on there. So I just made sure it was big enough that it will cover my entire nail. Um, and even if it did miss a little bit of the edge, that's fine. Um, you really wouldn't notice it. So I start by applying a bit of polish on the stamping plate. You would have noticed possibly in my the very first nail I did, I uh, double scraped it. You can do this, but just be careful not to pull off too much. I just had too much polish on the actual plate itself. And so I would have just ended up with a big straight. Um, it doesn't always work and sometimes I do just have to wipe off the stamper and start again but uh, play it by ear and see what happens and worst case you just yes uh, wipe it off the stamper and uh, give it another go it's much better than trying to have to redo your nail because you've stamped something on it that's not quite right um, so I just took my time and just using with the Conad stamper I find it's better to use the rolling technique and you'll see that I roll it onto the stamping plate and also I roll it onto my nail as well. Um, it just it stops it smudging and it makes sure that I get a nice even finish and I don't miss any spots particularly because it's a really firm stamper um, and it's like it's almost like a rubber ball sort of but a bit softer. Uh, whereas if you've got one of the clear jelly stampers, they're a lot softer and so I find it better to just push them straight down onto the plate or onto my nail so that I can make sure it uh, covers the whole nail because it's just is a lot more flexible and it's got a lot more ply in it. Uh, so your stamper will vary, it also vary in the terms of how hard it is, how soft it is, how receptive. So for when you get a new stamper, it might be a case of a bit of trial and error to see which technique suits you. And the other thing I will say is that you have to clear your uh, clear your plate quite often. So I think I managed to get about four nails or so here. Um, but I did stuff up a few where I took too long because I, I realized that my stamper was pretty dirty and needed a clean before I could do my next nail. By the time I got around to actually picking up the image off the plate, it had already dried, so it didn't pick up anything. So speed is definitely a big component of making sure that you pick up the images cleanly off the stamping plate. Um, one thing you can do is if you realize that your stamper isn't clean, don't scrape the polish yet, just leave it sitting there and then scrape it generally it picks it up but not as well as if you've just scraped it and pick it up straight away so be quick with that step and don't uh, mess around have everything laid out in front of you particularly when you do your first one so make sure you've got a little cleaning pad or a if you're using silicon um, stamper make sure you've got a lint brush there uh, or lint roller sorry uh, call, let's call it different things um, just to make sure that you can clean up quickly if you need to Otherwise, you're kind of stuck scrambling around trying to find something. And by the time you've found what you need, you've it's already dried out. Cause it's literally a matter of seconds um, for the polish to dry out. So just keep sort of moving along. When you scrape it, make sure it's a 45 degree angle. And you'll find some plates want a different angle. So I've got a indie plate that seems to want more of sort of a, almost a 90 degree angle. It just really depends on the plate itself. And my other tip as well is you'll notice, especially right now, there's a little makeup pad underneath my nail plate. This is to make it easier for me to pick up if I want to change it out for a different plate or um, I want to move it around. What I find is it sticks to my mat and if I've got sort of, all well, my nails are fresh or they're not 100% set, I've got to pick it up and I can damage my nail quite easily and it's the most frustrating thing. 
So stick a little pad or a bit of paper or just something underneath your plate and it'll make your life so much easier. So I hope you found these tips useful. I hope it taught you something. If you know anything that I haven't mentioned, pop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Um, maybe you've got a different technique or you've got a different way of doing things. I'd love to give it a go, especially if it ends up being easier. Um, and if you like this video and you found it useful, I'd love for you to hit the like button and subscribe while clicking the notification bell. Anyway, so I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.